The pip installable Pydantic package gives a really simple, straightforward way to build models with inbuilt validation straight out of the box. Let's suppose, for example, you wanted to create a user with name as string, age as int, and completed training as a boolean. It's as simple as importing base model from Pydantic. We then create a class which inherits from base model. Now we have our user defined, inheriting from base model. We can now go ahead and define our name, age, and our completed training attributes. And it's as straightforward as simply defining the name of the attribute, followed by a colon, and then the expected type for this here. Now there's plenty more you can do. You can put in optionals, you can pass in multiple different types, but this just keeps it simple and straightforward. Now that we have our class defined, we can now go ahead and create an instance and pass these in as keyword arguments. Now hitting run, we can see that because we've inherited from this, we're also inheriting a nice straightforward way to print the instances of our class here. Now what's interesting about Pydantic is that it's going to automatically enforce these rules. So say for example, we pass in something like this here. Pydantic isn't happy that I've passed this in. It's unable to pass the input as an integer. So therefore it gives us a validation error here. Another one worth noting as well, suppose for example, I passed in name as one, two, three, hit run again. We get basically the same error, but this time we get this for this name attribute here. So just to summarize, Pydantic gives a nice straightforward way to define some kind of model for an entity, along with some basic rules. If those rules aren't met when you create your class, it's going to throw you a validation error.